favorite topics to discuss on this channel is wardrobe color palettes and within that personal color combinations and things that you can explore to convey your message to the world around you and things that you can use to really put together great outfits that are a little bit outside of the expected. So in today's video, I want to share some color combinations to look chic this winter. These are a little bit unconventional, they're very classic and very timeless, but they also encourage you to kind of step outside your basic combinations. And they're things that I'm excited to wear myself this winter. Now before we hop into it though, I want to thank M. Jemmy for sponsoring today's video. We're working together again to bring you this concept, and I thought that they would be great for this topic because so many of their shoes come in these gorgeous colors. Things are a little bit harder to find in other brands. They're really beautiful, very, very timeless, and of course, beautifully well-made. So I'm gonna link everything in the description box down below, and let's get started. So the first color combination that I wanna go over is navy and black, and I love this one because it's very functional and very practical. Both of these colors can withstand the slush and the mud and the rain, which is perfect for this time of the year, but then also it's a little bit unconventional, a little bit unexpected. And the key here is to make sure that your navy and your black are very distinct colors. You don't want them to dip too close to each other because then it can look a little bit mismatched and not intentional. And the newest launch from M. Jemmy, the Sarita bag, is a perfect example of this because it features gorgeous soft leather, it has such a sophisticated shape, and it matches the flats perfectly. And this matching creates a cohesive look that allows the black colors to blend while the navy really stands out. Now let's say that you want to capitalize off of the functionality of navy or black, but you're not really sold on wearing either of these colors in your wardrobe because they maybe feel a little bit too stark. Especially if you're working with black, that can be the case. And the easiest way to soften that is to go for suede. Choosing a suede is instantly going to soften and dampen both of these colors and make them feel a little bit more grounded and a little bit gentler. And then also, when you're looking at maybe a black bag and you want something that's again going to be very practical, but you don't want it to feel too structured and too stark, a great thing to consider is something like the newer launch that they have, which is this beautiful silhouette. It's nice and rounded on the sides. It's got this great ruffle detail. You can wear it as a clutch or use the strap. And those combined with the black leather create a beautiful juxtaposition that feels a little bit soft, but still very functional and very practical. So the next color combination that I wanna go over still uses navy as your base, but you bring in a little burgundy. And I love burgundy because of course it's very classic, but also you have a lot of variants in which shade you choose. So you can make this almost like a jewel toned, something with a little bit more purple running through it, or you can push it even further into like the maroon territory where you bring in some brown and warm it up a little bit. Both are really gorgeous with navy. So if you have navy in your closet already, consider bringing in that burgundy sweater, pair those together, and again, it feels very classic, but also a little bit festive. And again, the high quality suede gives it this beautiful navy color while still staying really elegant. And because of the construction of these pumps, you get this really beautiful taper from the heel down to the toe, and that further amplifies how luxurious this all feels together. It's a perfect blend of really classic, but also very sophisticated. So continuing with navy as our base or our anchor color, I wanted to bring in a little bit of off-white, maybe some tan or some white. And this is a really great one for this time of the year because it's very unexpected. You don't typically think of lighter colors when it comes to this time of the year, but if you're like me and you live somewhere a little bit warmer, this is a really nice one to consider. And then also what I love about this is this transitions really seamlessly into the spring as well. And then with those lighter colors, and especially when they're in light suede, the material is really essential to ensuring that something looks great for a really long time and especially with footwear you want something high quality so that when you care for it it maintains that beautiful color it doesn't get overly scuffed or uh, or worn down but it still has that softness built into it and it creates this really beautiful combination where you get a really nice classic color but then also a little bit of a softer suede so again keeping that fluidity of your color palette in mind and how those colors can kind of rotate throughout the throughout the entire year, that's going to ensure that you have a color palette that really works for you. And it has a lot of cohesiveness built into it. So I also love this because you can pair a navy sweater with some light or some light colored pants, maybe that white or that off-white, even move into like a little bit of a stony color, and then go for a matching pair of shoes. And also, if you're unlike me and you live somewhere colder, you can consider a pair of ankle boots here and something in a light color to elongate everything. It's going to be really fun 
functional and practical and incredibly beautiful. So now let's move on from navy into black. And black is a great color to consider for your wardrobe because it's very practical. You can find it everywhere and it's very functional and utilitarian. So especially as you're just starting out with your wardrobe color palette, black is really nice to have as your anchor color because you can mix and match other colors very effortlessly on top of it. And it's also very functional because it doesn't show stains. So if you live somewhere that's cold, maybe you get snow or you live in a city, these are really great to consider for that reason. And I also think that here it's really nice if you kind of lighten up the black. So the first color that I want to talk about to go with black is taupe. And this kind of like taupey, almost mushroom color is so beautiful with black. It's really classic, but also a little bit unexpected. So especially if you're going for like black pants, a pair of black shoes, a black bag, but then a taupey sweater, it balances it all so beautifully and it's a great juxtaposition. It also helps lighten up the black a little bit and create that contrast, which I love. And this is also really great because much like the other outfit, you can go for flats like I've done here if you live somewhere a little bit warmer, or you can consider ankle boots. And you can go for either a taupey colored ankle boot, you get that rep repetition, so you repeat the color of your sweater in your shoes, or you can go for black and keep it really effortless and kind of no-brainer. Both would work and both are beautiful. Another color that I love to pair with black is off-white. And you can definitely do black and traditional white, but that's a little bit more expected. So to keep it a little bit more unconventional, go for off-white and black. It softens the black a little bit and it feels very sophisticated. I also really love this because off-white is very easy to find in sweaters. You can find any style of sweater that you like and then pair it with those black pants. And again, if you live somewhere like I do that's a little bit warmer, going for a pair of black flats is perfect, but you could also do black boots. And it's going to be such a sophisticated look all worn together. And then I also think this is great because an off-white sweater, it goes so beautifully with pearls and those great details that we love this time of the year. And considering all of that together, you end up with something very functional, very timeless. You can wear this combination for years and years and years and never feel dated, but it still feels very current for right now. Now another color that I love to wear with black, and again it's a little bit more unconventional, is going to be green, and specifically a green that feels a little bit like an olivey green. Maybe it's got some warmth and some brightness added to it for your personal preferences, that's what I tend to go for, or you can go for a true rich olive, something that looks like moss. And both are going to go really beautifully with black, because again, you don't see this combination that often, so it feels very very luxe. And when chosen in those high quality materials, that perfectly match one another, you can create a really beautiful and timeless outfit. And I also really love that when you're working with black shoes, you can go for a softly pointed toe, much like these from M. Jemmy. And when that's balanced in with the sharpness and then the sophistication of a slightly lower vamp, that keeps it all feeling really elegant and not too austere or stark. It's also really, really comfortable because it's kind of tricky to find a pointed toe that's easy to walk in. You want something that gets that beautiful shape, but you don't want to sacrifice comfort, and these do that really beautifully. And when we keep with the functionality of the black, it makes it very practical and easy to wear. Definitely something that I consider within my own wardrobe, and I recommend for you as well, because if you're working with that base of black, and then you're trying to bring colors in, keeping the contrast lower between those two colors is an easy way to consider color palettes and kind of play around with color combinations without going too extreme. So you're not going massive contrast. You're keeping the contrast relatively subdued, and that makes it very wearable. And that allows you to kind of dip your toe into color combinations until you get more comfortable and you can kind of work your way up. And then the other one is going to be tanny colors and then yellow. And yellow is something that we're seeing a lot right now and I'm really glad about it because yellow is hard to find usually, especially when you're looking for a very specific shade of yellow. And the shades of yellow that I tend to gravitate towards are a little bit hard to find. They don't dip into that acid territory and instead they feel a little bit warmed by sunshine and those are easy to find right now. So if you like this color as well, this is going to be your moment. And especially as you're building out that color palette, these go so beautifully with those off-white colors and then again those tan colors. So you can wear this effortlessly from now into the spring and it's going to look so beautiful the entire year. 
So those are some color combinations to look chic in the winter. They're things that are a little bit unconventional. They step outside of the box ever so slightly, but they're still very timeless and really nice to consider as you develop your own wardrobe color palette because you can wear them now, but then for most of the year as well and create that fluidity. So I hope that this is helpful and thank you so much to Mjemi for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to link everything that I personally styled in the description box down below and I will also include the alternatives that I mentioned in case anything caught your eye. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.